had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. The Normandy crew delivered. Including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. I would never say anything against Miranda, and expect to survive the reprisal. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that- It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. What do you think about the well, people? Well, about- I would never say- It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Upgrades are messing with our inertial skew, compensating. the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant... bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them. Creepy. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. <laughs> what can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Shepard. What can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? 
Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bostet. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. Were your immune systems stronger before Not the Geth? Not as... Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our... I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that their tradition also signifies a willingness for um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't know... You never... Well... Good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. 
Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. for you, Commander.
Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nos Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Do you have any recommendations about Our what? trading center is... I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on I'm Nos Astra that you... I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy, until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it... No, I, I, I understand. Pardon me, I'm on a call. The Turian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the Relay 314 incident at Shashi. The Turian government previously made reparations from what humans call the First Contact War, but refused to pay interest. The Turian hierarchy has supported improved relations with humanity since the Alliance's heroic sacrifice defending the Citadel from Saren's attack two years ago. 25. Cell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. 
I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on, give me something. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off-world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? that the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again.
before the game. A regional hub of Asari commerce awash in riches, Ilium is infamous for its abusive labor practices and legalization of nearly everything except murder. As such, Ilium is the preferred production site for weapons and pharmaceuticals that would be illegal nearly everywhere else, made even more lucrative by legal indentured servitude. Among the biotics-related pharmaceutical producers is the Dantius Corporation, a rising star in galactic commerce. Despite the dangers of its products, Ilium is renowned for glamour, luxury, and safety, provided by near-total surveillance, making it a favored tourist destination. Countless celebrities maintain palatial estates on Ilium and in its capital, Nos Astra. The sole obstacle to business on Ilium is its extensive bureaucracy, tolerated only for its provision of security. Regardless of the character of its economy, Ilian's self-congratulatory media exalts its own society with the provincial arrogance of new money, glorifying in sexiest CEOs and 10 richest residents lists. Known as the Starcraft Cemetery, Corliss was the regional toxic junkyard for centuries. Ships reaching astronautical near death at connecting mass relays were sent to Corliss, stripped of every useful component, then dumped planetward to clear shipping lanes. Currently, Corliss hosts numerous Merc factions, such as the Blue Suns, rumored to be using downed ship fossils to test advanced munitions. Massive gun batteries threaten anyone attempting planetfall, with minimal defenses against ground attack. Because ancient volcanism greenhoused the planet, Corliss was too hot and CO2 rich to develop a biosphere, despite the abundant lakes that could have sponsored the development of life. Now cool enough for protected habitation, but too scorching for anyone but extremophiles and mercenaries seeking secrecy, Corliss supports numerous Krogan outposts. The Krogan have therefore seeded Corliss with hardy Varen, often kept as warhounds. Baron lived primarily on a diet of geophagus vermin and each other.